Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, gals and pals, holes and poles. I am your host, the Armchair Grump, and we are here to play some more Magic the Gathering Arena. We're going to be playing some more Selesnya Angels in Explorer. Um, unfortunately, I assumed when the dailies reset today, which is another three and a half hours, um, I would be able to play until then. That's when we would get our rewards and stuff. Unfortunately, it looks like they set at midnight, because um, it's still... Well, today is the first right now, but they didn't set until, like, some time in the morning. Um, uh, sorry, I just saw something on screen that disgusts me. Um, and, uh, but unfortunately, as soon as I logged in, uh, past, it was past midnight, and, uh, I already got the rewards. So, that's unfortunate. We got to Platinum 1. We were, like, two wins away from getting to Mythic. Uh, fortunately enough, uh, we are replaced at, like, Gold 3 or something, so it's going to be a lot easier or a lot shorter time to get up to Mythic. Hopefully we'll hit Mythic this time. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy how long it takes to get there. But So we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, our dailies are red and green spells, black and red spells. So we're going to have to do something about doing this to grab this. Um, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up. Um, so we're getting close to a building, Storm the Festival. I also got, let's see here. Uh, I got four rare wild cards. Uh, rank, historic. No, explorer. Why are you in. Did I hit the wrong thing here? Rank. There we go. Um, I want to give you a little bit of a heads up. Uh, when the new set comes out, I'm not going to be playing with any of the cards. Um,. They're probably going to give out the free packs. I'll just take the packs, open them, but I will not be using them. Uh, I will not be playing with any of the Lord of the Rings cards at all. Uh, I don't consider it a set. Um, on top of that, all the race baiting, all the racist stuff they're doing with changing the colors of characters in Lord of the Rings. Um, I just considered the... Wizards is specifically trying to create race... Uh, are trying to cause racist scenarios here. They're trying to cause stuff, racist issues. They know the characters are white. They know it's set in a myth mythological English uh, uh, English uh, scenario. Um, there are some characters, Easterlings, and some other characters that you could probably have that are darker skin tone. Instead, they decided to change characters like Aragorn, Eowyn, um, Gladriel, that we all know uh, have a very specific character design uh and make them black characters on their cards um they're just race baiting pieces of shit so i won't be playing with any of those cards i don't care i if there's a if, if say there's a really good angel or something that goes into the green white deck i'll just not be sliding it in unfortunately um i will be uh, you know also play other decks and all that um uh i haven't got anything for standard really right now so fortunately i don't have to worry about where you where you standard cards unfortunately that means a lot of people i don't think will be using uh we'll go ahead and keep this so yeah i just won't be using those um i think it's a t it's just a disgrace and total disgusting of what they're doing with uh the wizard cards and uh yeah so any anybody that's been watching my videos um and there's been quite a few people so far that have subscribed i think specifically for those um i appreciate it i just won't be using them um let alone if uh if they were just... I, I don't like the fact that Lord of the Rings and four, Warhammer 40k are coming in to the universe. Um, I think it's terrible to be um, putting franchise together when I don't... You know, you should keep your franchises separate. Um, and they're not just a art, alternate art card. They're actually bringing them into the world. Um, and on top of that, they're race swapping a whole bunch of cards. Imagine if we took white people and put them in place of black people that were originally black characters. <gasps> oh my god, people would freak the fuck out. So if you're gonna blackwash, if whitewashing is, is bad, blackwashing is bad. And on top of that, they're char like Lord of the Rings. Like, I love the movies, I love the books. Um, it, 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 yeah. And I think they're actually doing it to, in order to I'm not just doing it. Yeah. The, the only reason to do it is to hurt people. Uh, that, that is the only reason. 
they want to spite people, and that's the reason they're doing it. So, I haven't played with this card yet. I actually want to play with this card, Recruitment Officer. Uh, yeah, Human's got a nice little boost. I'm interested. So, Ward of One. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and take this. I don't know if this deck is going to play... This will give us some defense. Yep, so sorry. That, that's just the news. Uh, I won't be playing with any of those cards. Now, if they do a functional reprint of the cards, maybe I'll... I'm not going to play with the... I'll get a alternate art version of the card and use it. So, um, if it's not Lord of the Rings, if they have a different name, but it's a functional reuse of the, functional use of the card, um, uh, I'll probably use that version. You know, if the, if you can change card styles and the name's different and everything, uh, but I'm not going to be using Lord of the Rings cards or 40k cards. On top of that, you know, it's just stupid putting them in standard. It's just, I don't even. I'm not going to get started. I will think. I really think I want to make a video on it, um, but. On top of all the, like I said, the race baiting stuff. I would just like them, uh, if they want to put a whole bunch of more black characters and stuff in the in the game, which I have no problem with. Uh, in, yeah, in Wizards. Wizards. In uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, they could go back, they, they could just have, like what they did, uh, uh, Aether Revolt was a very Indian themed, so it was uh, a very Indian style, a lot of Indian uh, looking characters. Um, which I, I liked. Uh, they could go to another sub-Saharan Africa styled, or just not even doesn't have to be sub-Saharan Africa. It just could be a, a set that has lots of black people as the native people, um, and I'd be totally fine with it. I don't know why they don't do something like that instead of race changing people. Um, it's it, don't get me started on all, all that uh, woke garbage of oh you need to replace white characters. That's just uh, you know that's just handing some black people your hand-me-downs or something and saying, oh, you you can't have new creative stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Uh, we're gonna get... We'll get that four life back in a second. And we'll get a 3-5. This one's protecting this one. This one's not gonna be protected. So... They have no actual ex excuse to be race swapping characters. Especially named characters. Yeah, just imagine if we all of a sudden we started making Teferi White. The artist. Somebody, somebody that was hired... I wonder what would happen if an artist that they hired to do a Teferi card then went and um, turned it in and, and had a white person on it. I bet you they would be in furious. They would be furious. They would fire that artist right away. Oh, shoot. I'm an idiot. Um, well, we're going to gain the life, but I thought I was going to have a bigger toughness on the Valkyrie. That's, oh, that's not a... It's not an angel. Of course, it's not an angel. But I want to save the resplendent angel. Maybe I should have played the resplendent angel, but then a Johnny wouldn't have triggered. We could have done that too. We could have played the resplendent. No, because. Yeah, we could have played resplendent, but we didn't have the land. Did we have the land? No, we didn't have the Luminarch in our hand, so we didn't know that was going to come into play. Um. Yeah, no attacks. And right now, we've got stuff we can block with. Same thing. Eventually, white people will be a minority even in America, they say. But if... Uh, the same thing is I don't think um, in China or uh, Africa or in any other country where white people are minority or any uh, race is minority, I don't think you should be changing, say, like, Chinese characters. Or if you're in Japan, I don't think you should be changing Japanese character, you know, any kind of character that is originally... Damn, son of a bitch. Nice job. 
um, should be changing anything to fit another minority. Um, uh, and... Yeah, no blocks. We're gonna take eight, put it into ten. We're gonna get yeah, we'll get that back though. We're gonna, gonna we're gonna get more than that back. We're gonna go down to ten, but then we'll gain ten. So we'll be back up to twenty, hopefully here. This on. I don't know. We only ever need one. Four. Um, help this out. The crazy thing is, is I kind of wish, like, I would mind, I would like a Lord of the Rings game based off of Magic the Gathering if they just kept it separate. Like, just imagine a Lord of the Rings card game with similar rules to Magic the Gathering, just a separate thing. Um, unfortunately, they want to f force you to buy it and make it part of Magic the Gathering. Again, cards, card edits, like they did the Godzilla thing, I think that's a, a reskin of cards, like Godzilla would have been a smart move. Unfortunately, they're actually just making those cards playable. I, uh, it's going to make me furious because I, I just don't want to play with people that drives people out of magic. I'm not going to want to play with people who have like a little Gandalf across the table from me. Um, damn, I really need... Yeah, no attacks. No, damn it. I should have attacked. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I'm not. I'm not trying. I was trying to protect my life total for the. Uh... I'm gonna do a feature card with Mana Value Three list from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library. That playing too defensively here. Uh, I also have to apologize. I took some Tylenol PM last night trying to, because I was having a hard time sleeping. And that means... Um, uh, I'm a little groggy still. My dog woke me up because she had to go to the bathroom and I haven't been able to get back to sleep. So my brain's a little on the fuzzy side. Ah, oh, nicely done. Nice draw. He wants dead a Johnny. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why is he saying good game? I'm just doing this to kill the creature. I fought my hardest. Oh, I'm an idiot. What was I? Dumb mistakes. I had six mana available. Oh. 
Hunter. Wait, why did he take the token over the Resplendent? See, that's I'm going to make some small mistakes like that, probably. All right, I'll take that. I didn't cast any green spells. That's funny. All right, let's hop back in there. I guess my main issue here is wizards could have done stuff like... Uh, they could have done stuff, like I said, like Godzilla. They could have had this thing where they could have had Lord of the Rings cards, the art and the skins and stuff. No, no, no. I'm literally for, not referring to black and white. Skin, like, people. Well, they could have had, like, the art and, like, had uh, skins, like, repaintings. They could have had... They could have had them on the cards. Like, they had Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Um, but not officially in Magic the Gathering. They could have had, re uh, like, uh, people get uh, their cards done with different art on them all the time. I think we can keep this, but it's a very slow hand. Um, they could have had both, as long as, like, if we just take out the race swapping, racist bullshit. Um, because it's, yeah, it's a soft bigotry of low expectations. Um... Definitely true. Um, sorry, uh, uh, Gary and Neurotic says it all the time, and it just it, it rings so true. But um, they could have had it both ways, really, by doing what they did with the Godzilla set, or with the yeah, the, what they did with the Godzilla. Mm. And um, they're just reskins. You have alternate art versions of the card in the set, and that would have worked perfectly. Um, but instead, they ha officially now have Lord of the Rings stuff in there. Um, Black Border official Lord of the Rings. Just imagine Black Border official My Little Pony coming. Oh my god. And, and Marvel cards. Ugh. Wizards is just trying to kill itself. I mean, eventually Magic Gather. I, I know people are like, well, it's not like what it was once before. And yeah, they've added new abilities and stuff, but at the core, it's still what it is. If you just start adding in, like, all these franchises, it's going to be nothing nothing like it is. I mean, nothing like even what it was supposed to be. It, it just, it's disgusting. It just it disgusts me, but. But like I said, you could have had all these alternate art cards. Like I said, I don't mind alternate art. People alternate, like, they make their own, or they get the art changed on their cards all the time. And I play against people that have different art, like, they pay or they do their own art on their cards all the time. And I play against those people, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. And I'm fine with wizards trying to get on that money wagon, you know, if they want to make alternate art cards. Because uh, they get artists and stuff, you know, they could do that, they can do their own thing, and they can do those special things. Um, but the, the very fact that now... Lord of the Rings is in the same universe. How are they going to explain this in the story? Is it, it they're black bordered in a standard set? Are they? First of all, I don't even know if they're including it in the story, but it's in the universe. Are is Jace or whoever like Nissa or any of the Planeswalkers? Is Gandalf a Planeswalker now? Like, are are we just gonna? Is they are they just gonna walk up to him and be like, "Hey, what's going on?" Yeah, let's hang out. You know, is he gonna planeswalk? Is he gonna? Is Gandalf fighting Phyrexians now? Like, I don't even want. Like, the taste in my mouth is just foul. Um, but you could have alternate arts. You could have a wizard that has an alternate art that looks like Gandalf. People would do that all the time because maybe the card reminds them of Gandalf. There's lots of cool stuff like that you could do. Um. And like, you could have a secret layer drops. You could have a set that just, like I said, like... Um, but then you would have an original card with original magic that I could... If I didn't want those cards. But I can't. I can't... The Gandalf card, there is no original magic card. I have to play with the Gandalf card if I want to do... If I... And I don't want to do that. I just don't. I... Oh. All right. 
Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to turn this video into this, but unfortunately, they f now they ha all the arena has all those goddamn ads, and it, it's gonna it infuriates me. So we could play. Are they not playing or? I don't know what to do. I mean, we could just go ahead and get triggers here. Life game triggers, Valkyrie triggers. Oh shush. I think there's a chance that they have. I don't want to test the waters. Let's pass it. We're on the life gain train. We're on that life gain train. We can get to the point where the speaker of heaven is giving us uh, angels. Yeah, I think they DC. Which surprisingly, oh nope, they're back. Maybe they had to do something and they missed a turn. Sorry, person. Yeah, either they got distracted in real life or the game bugged out on them. Thankfully, I haven't had many issues like that lately. I haven't I haven't dropped any games. I don't know if it's just my internet. Um but no, that's not true because I had my I, I've had this I started playing arena here at my place. And when I first installed an arena 2 years ago, like games would drop all the time. Like, I, w I couldn't go two or three games without I'd have to close the app and restart it. And it wasn't my computer's fault. It was disconnected from the server. Um, I don't know if it was because there was more people playing. Um, but I'm guessing it was because the servers were worse. I would like to give Wizards the... Uh, well, not necessarily Wizards. Whoever's running this game. Because it's not necessarily Wizards. But uh, I don't know who, who they made this with. Whatever uh, game developers worked on this. I doubt it's an in-house wizard development team. This is going to be so slow. Uh, we'll try it. No, I didn't. I hit the wrong button. I hit mulligan, not keep. Uh, this is faster, though. We'll do this. Um, Everything is... What do we keep? What do we pitch? We piss a piss piss we piss a land. No, because I can turn one planes, turn two sun petal into a bishop or a giada or a prosperous. Yeah, let's do that. Turn screw it, turn one. Damn it. I would assume Giada or Bishop of Wings. In that case, we're probably going to go Giada. And then he's going to kill it. Oh. oh. Playing what I was thought he was playing. Guy. Okay. Okay. So demur rogues. I've recently started seeing more demur rogues. I was playing. I, di I didn't get to see demur rogues at all. Ah, oh, you little fucker. Nice job. Draw a land, we've got a Coco available. Hope he taps out. They'll tap out more often than most other control stuff. Damn it. Well, that's not the worst. Oh, he's going. Uh, Coco, buddy. Are you really thinking about the Prosperous Endkeeper? I mean, really? 
Dude, if I draw a land, you're not going to be able to counter it. I guess it's just hoping for me not to draw a land. Uh, no blocks. Oh. We gotta do it while he's tapped. Oh ho ho! Yeah. Um. Oh wait. Whoa. Why is this untapped? I thought he attacked with this. I guess he did that. That's another row I need to mess around with. But. Four. Sage you. Doesn't have artifacts or enchantments. I can blow up a land, but I don't really see that being useful. I need. Five. One card in hand and a brazen borrower in exile. I just need to draw an angel, really? Unless there's a line of play, I've totally. Oops, did I do something wrong? Faster tech. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, oh, damn it. That is... Oh, that is the one thing I didn't need. The fucking flying death touch. All right, there we go. Perfect. Um, there is no greater treasure. Friendship soothes the soul. Um, in this case, we want to do nothing yet. Let me get here. Yeah, let's just go to insta. Boom! Got him. I still think he gave up a little too early. Those death touchers. Getting uh, getting two death touchers is gonna uh, swinging here. Let me... No, I didn't. Ah, oh. I thought I misclicked. I wanted to see. Look at the boobies. Sorry, boobies. Um, I try to click. Look at the battlefield, and for some reason, it double clicked. <sighs> It's like, don't... They put buttons right next to each other that it makes it easy to misclick. They put buttons under each other that fuck you over. It, it's like, the U, the person that managed the UI in this game is really stupid. You can't look at what cards are coming up in your deck. You can't look at what cards are coming up in your opponent's deck. See, that's not Aragon. Sorry. Yeah, Aragon. My is Aragorn. I don't know why I said Aragorn. Wrong thing. Aragorn. Um, is that supposed to be Sauron or the Eye of... S oh, he's got his fingers cut off. Yeah. Sauron. Um, would you stop fucking up? Oh, and then also... Look. Well, it's really... it's. I think it's really stupid, too. This is supposed to be... It's it's the White Tree of Gondor. And then, for some reason, 
someone else brought this up. I'll, I'll give this to somebody else. But is the White Tree of Gondar? Stop it. And then the artist, the artist rendition of the card. I swear to God, the art for the artist, they're like, okay, um, either they gave it to a really racist artist or they told the artist, um, you know, they gave it to a really politically, politically motivated artist or they uh, told the artist, oh, he's got to be black. But um, then they... Uh, uh, then it, it's the white tree of Sauron. So they made him black and then all in the art, like everything around him is white. I know they kind of put him in the city, but they put, I know they put, uh, is it the white tower? I think it, the white towers behind him in the picture, but then uh, like everything is crimson. Like it's white marble all around him just to make the black character stand out so much. Like, like everything's white around him. But on top of that, then on top of that, then they made the tree gold on his armor plate. It's the white tree of Gondor. Why, like, it, like, why would you make everything white around him, and then the, the white tree. Of Gondor is then gold on his armor plate. Why wouldn't you at least take a a, t a token of notice from like the stuff that they did from, uh, Jackson's, Lord of the Rings, and the, it, it, at the very least you could get this right. I, I think you would get this right is. This should be a white tree. I think this is supposed to be the representation of the white tree of Gondor on his armor. This is this is so stupid. It's so st it's just so so stupid. Th like everybody looks black. Even even Gandalf's skin looks darker. Like he looks like he's black. He looks like he's fucking um. <laughs> he looks. <laughs> he's Who's the guy from Shawshank Redemption? I can't remember his name now. Um, and Batman, Lucius Fox. Uh, what's it? Um, I can't remember his. I can't remember his name now. But yeah, he looks like he's black too, or at least he's he is he is cropping the darkest suntan ever. Like why? Are, it looks like they are turning every character black. Like I could maybe give this away if if it was like the only character, like one of the few characters that had, like maybe he's in a tunnel, it's darker, there's shadow everywhere. But it really looks like he's a black character too. They're just like we want to be the most racist ever. Let's just all of us. Let's just make all the characters that we all know are pretty much white, like every character white. In Lord of the Rings, because it's a myth, it's a mythology for England. They're all described. I, I think all of them have pretty much a description as as being white characters. Got, uh, Aragorn even has a description as being pale. You know, in, in his description, it's not using like it, it's not used as sickly pale, but as in a pale tone, like he was pale, pale skinned. <clears throat> You don't you don't call a black person pale. Anyway, so all of them, you know, you know, they have uh like I said, like they have uh 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 my the not here, Gwendolyn, um Uh they have the elf. They have the they have the elf and then the Norse. They have like the they have what would normally be a blonde or red hair. I don't know if she's described uh, her hair color is described, but um the Norse girl, uh, Eowyn. Yeah, Eowyn. Uh, she's, her character's black. Her art is black. She's a Norse... The, her, the, the, the horse riders are, are based on Norwegian, like, the, the Norse, the Norsemen. Like, <laughs> they are the most palest, like, redheads and blondes, and you made her black. It, it's... so stupid I'm just waiting for somebody to start getting I'm just waiting for somebody to get hold of Black Panther I'm just waiting it, the day will come the day will come when they get hold of the things uh, get hold of some characters like Miles Morales and race swap them to white and we are just like everybody that you have been pissing off by changing the characters. Like the thing is, is even if you change them to other stuff, like if you changed characters, like it, it's bad enough if you change like a, a blackhead person, like black hair, not blackhead, 
black haired. Like if they have blonde hair and you change them to black hair. Like a lot of people get annoyed by that. Like, you know, he doesn't like uh like Peter Parker. People Peter Parker people get annoyed when somebody doesn't look like Peter Parker or doesn't act good enough in the movies as Peter Parker. A lot of people don't like the latest kid as Peter Parker. Like he looks too much like a kid still, even though he's supposed to be older. Or like some people didn't like Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker, or they only thought he acted like Spider Man really well, but not Peter Parker. So it that, like that's bad enough. But then you go and totally race swap them. But it, like then like people get angry when you change their hair color, or if you change some personality thing. Like people are like they're made to be a certain thing, and then people like that thing. Like magic, magic's meant to be a certain thing. I like that thing. And then you go and change it completely. This whole thing's just gonna be me bitching about this. These were winning games in the process. We have Kruga the Macro Sage. Macro Sage. Dinosaur Hippo. That's a kind of cool art. Yeah, this is the set right here, isn't it? This was a, this is from the uh, this is originally from the set that has the. Uh, Godzilla stuff. See that didn't that's that set didn't pit me, piss me off. They had uh, cards that were alternate art versions of the original card. So if you like those alternate arts, you could get those and play with those. But then they still had original cards. I don't understand why they didn't just stick to that. That made complete and utter that made sense. Um Yeah, we gotta go with this. But yeah, someday somebody, someone's gonna get a hold of. Uh, somebody's gonna come up and uh, realize Marvel and Disney's making losing too much money from all this bullshit. Like Marvel, the the reason sets recently Marvel's been losing tons of money. The, the movies have been doing terrible, and they're gonna they're gonna race swap. They're gonna start. It'll be funny. Somebody will race swap. Uh, like. Um, Miles Morales or Black Panther. Uh, Black Panther. I, that wouldn't even I wouldn't be like. I don't think you can race swap Black Panther. Who's who's somebody that they could race swap? Um, you know, even if you like turn him German, like you can't turn Peter Parker German or something. He can't just become some other Caucasian. You know, he's not German. He's not Dutch. He's not. Uh, I don't know, Swedish. You know, all of a sudden, he has a Swedish a accent, and he's from Sweden. All of a sudden, like people would be pissed off. It, it doesn't just have to be black. You know, they just they tried to. People are just trying to separate the races. Like back in the '90s, like the shit was like almost over with. Like people were like, like, like people. Oh my god, it's so annoying that this stuff is in so so relevant nowadays again. So this has got to be Fire of Invention, right? In step, Coco, Righteous Valkyrie. Last time we played against this, it was as Fires of Invention. This is Fire of Invention. So does the deck always just do four turns, nothing? I'm assuming that has a ramp, right? That's not the best, but also the worst. Holy shit. That's a lot more triggers. I'm guessing I was just looking at all the triggers. Okay. Um, turn. I guess we're gonna have to play like we don't know if he has removal or not. He's got he's got something in hand. What's he doing? As long as he's not a dick like the last guy. That's turn four, good game. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, is he stuck on three mana? Mm, not particularly good. This is lethal then, right? Is he a lethal? I want to see, I should be able to see, at the end of a game, I should be able to see what's in my opponent's hand, I should be able to see what's at the top of his deck, I should be able to see what's on top of my deck, like, just be able to look at the top of his cards and filter through it. Um, I don't know why that's not allowed. I think he was playing Fires of Invention, or Fire, yeah, Fires of Invention, and he just got stuck on three lands. Oh, dude, uh, I know that sounded like I was talking to somebody. <laughs> I guess I'm talking to you guys, but I was, um, th the standard band list. I wonder if I should check to see if paper standard is also the same way. Uh, it probably is. They, they tend to ban stuff in standard on here the same way they ban stuff in paper standard. Um, they banned three things in standard, which I was very surprised. The, the, the Kiki Jiki Firebreaker, most of them seemed like they were in the same deck too. It was part of red, black sack. Um, the, the Kiki Jiki, uh, the, sorry, the, something of the Mirror Breaker, the Fable of the Mirror Breaker or something, so the, the three drop enchantment, the Invoke Despair, which is like, is it four black and a colorless to do, it's a sorcery, and then, um, I, they banned the Bank Buster. I bought the Bank Buster card, because I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a decent card, even though it was only like 25 cents or 50 cents at the beat when it released, and they banned it. I'm surprised they bank they banned the bank buster unless there's something about it I just don't know. The question is is are we going Bishop of Wings, Youthful Valkyrie? Or are we going Prosperous Prosperous? I think we go I think we're going Bishop of Wings, Youthful Valkyrie. Or we're going Bishop Bishop Prosperous Valkyrie. Okay. Bishop Prosperous and youthful. Or now we can go uh, prosperous. Yeah. Don't you do it. Looks like he's playing the control. Encountered. Okay. I don't know if I should have doubled up. Hopefully, we'll draw land here. But he's gonna hold on mana for a counter spell, most likely. There's the mana for the. Unfortunately, we gotta. I mean. Let's see if we can tack into something. Nope. Flash out anything at the end step. Damn. I was hoping to do something. He probably still has two mana. He's got a dope ones veto. Why does it take so long? Ah! Nice try. Targeting things one at a time, so I'm assuming he doesn't have a draft in hand. 
I can't be that for sure, though. Three, four, five, six, seven. We have him dead in two turns with power on board. Ah, he just foretold the wrath effect. Eh, he just got into portal. Fuck. Oh, it's mana value two or less. Okay. Hmm. He definitely just foretold. He could have also foretold draw mana. I mean, uh. Three, four, five, six. I gotta put leap. So we do six, that puts seven on the board. All right, if we do six damage, that means seven. I have to do seven. Ah, fuck it. Next combat. Ah, damn it! I should have. I know, I, I just. I know what I did wrong. If I played this first, I would have gotten one more point of damage. Uh, doesn't matter. He's got. I, I gotta play like it's not a wrath effect. But yep. No, I just had to play like it was a wrath, not a wrath effect. I just had to hope it was uh, the the man uh, the mana one. It was the uh, draw cards one. I still sequenced. I still sink. Why can't I say that word? I still sequenced those wrong. I should have. That's the problem. Is you get so this game makes you want to play fast because of how fucking that stupid timer and everything. It, it pushes you to play fast, and instead of thinking right, I I push the dumb button first before realizing and then realizing after but I can't go backwards I can't I can't be like in real life uh, I wouldn't have said the word let's go to combat it would have been like in my head and before I said it I would have been like oh nope let's do this first uh but unfortunately I mean this is keepable but I don't know let's just shenanigans shenanigans Heaven, heavens. Oh, hello. He is playing three color flyers, maybe? He's got a forest, he's got the triome, he's got the ant one. So... It's interesting seeing the... It's very interesting seeing the first one angel in there. I wonder what his triggers are. For life gain? Other, otherwise, it's just it's just to activate the plus two plus two. The top seven. Uh, I didn't even get to read what the fucking card is. Look at the top seven. See, this is what I'm talking about. Things just happen. The arena just makes things happen, and you don't get to even know what's going on. You need to stop that. Put the top seven cards of your library. Put up to X artifacts and or creature cards with mana value three or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. Oh, I, I need that card. I need that card so much. Uh, well, we're going to get this trigger. Now we just need a green mana. that question is is what do I do here um, 
Oh, second main phase, because we want the trigger at the end step. Yeah, I gotta remember to do that. I don't think he's gonna play something that's... I mean, he could... He might have that three mana spirit, but he's playing flyers. He's got a weird flyer set up. He's, he, either he just slotted in Watcher of the Spheres, but he doesn't... He's got a weird Bant flyer thing going on. You got a counter spell. Don't have a counter spell. Don't have a counter spell. I mean, this is enough. Uh, six mana. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there. We've probably been playing 45 minutes or more. Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, what we get? What we get? Hound Tamer, two and a green, three, three. So three, three for three, not bad. Ah, oh, dude, I love that dog that looks like an Alaskan Malamute. Oh, it's nice and fluffy. It looks like a Malamute. Um, but it is a human werewolf, three, three for three, human werewolf. Trample, all right. And then a three and a green, put a one-one counter on target creature, and then daybound. Uh, and then flip side, trample other wolves and werewolves you control have trample. Put three uh, three and a green, put a one-one counter on target creature, nightbound. Huh. That's not terrible. It's also a decent one-one counter strategy creature. I love the fact that it, I guess they're probably supposed to be wolves or something, but they look like Malamutes. They really do look like Malamutes. They're just so they're so uh, you want to say husky? When you say husky, you mean like you know, um, thick and burly. Uh, but they don't look like wolves. They look a lot like Malamutes. I mean, a lot of times when you have a Malamute, people get them confused for wolves. We used to take our Malamutes uh, camping with us, and they would always get them. People would be like, "Is that a wolf?" Uh, sometimes they get huskies confused for wolves too, but um, huskies tend to be a bit smaller. Oh, uh, where uh, werewolves? Sorry, uh, uh, Malamutes are uh, bigger. Uh, usually, they're like I said, fluffier, uh, not just fluffier, but they're like thicker. They're burlier, a little bit bigger than huskies. Unusual. So, um, uh, yeah. So I, th I think that's an interesting card. Uh, there's a lot of commander stuff. Unfortunately, the four mana to put one counter is its not terrible. I mean, a 3-3 three, three for three with Trample, that you can do something to it. I don't think i don't think it's probably season, saw any standard play, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to claim. And I will see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll be ranting less about the dumb... Uh, race swapped black Gandalf, blacked Aragorn. Like, it's so infuriating, but all right. Uh, I mean, come at me in the comments if you. You, <laughs> you can come at me in the comments. Uh, you know, I would, I wouldn't mind a discussion in the comments. But if anything, wouldn't you agree that I think the be best option to have both worlds would do what they did? In, um, uh, I can't remember the name of this, uh, Kiora or Kiora, uh, I can't, I think it was called, uh, Layers of Kiora or something, where they had a theme of big behemoth like creatures that reminded, you know, that were like, uh, King Kong and Godzilla and stuff. So they had, uh, they, uh, worked. I don't know if Hasbro has Godzilla, have the rights to the toys, or, uh, they licensed Godzilla's stuff. 
and the, um, all the Godzilla monsters, and they had alternate art. And so what they did is they had a sub they had a subtitle of the name of the original card. So they had so what they did is they made all the cards right, and then they had as uh, alternate arts that you could you could get in every pack. So you had your base card, your full art card, and your alternate art card that had the alternate art of being. Um, a, a Godzilla monster for like rares and mythic creatures, for yeah. So like, if you had a rare creature, I can't remember what like you had Mecha Godzilla, you had Godzilla, you had lots of them, and I actually liked that idea. And so you had if a, like me, um, uh, if uh, for a lot of cards, you could have your base version, and then um, you had your alternate art because a lot of people do like playing with alternate arts, and a lot of people like Godzilla. I don't have a problem with that, but. That's all they were then. They were basically, they were just alternate art cards. And that made it so the story could continue without having, I mean, like, th that, in, not only in my mind, but that also meant that Godzilla wasn't in Godzilla, King Kong, all the other monsters, you know, Mothra. They weren't in um, the universe. You know, they were just alternate art cards. And I'm 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 okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with alternate art cards. It, people do that all the time. People get their art cards changed. Um, I think they could have done the same thing here. And they, I think that is the best of both worlds. You have a base art ca card of the version, right? You have a base art, a base version that has a unique name. That's Magic the Gathering, a unique picture, and it's in the Magic the Gathering world. Then you have your full art version, and then the third version, which they've been doing like three versions of most cards. Uh, so you have your base version, full art version, and then an alternate art version that has the uh, the uh, Lord of the Rings name over it. So you have like a Planeswalker. I don't know what Planeswalker is. Say like the base version is Jace, and then the alternate art, art version is one of the Blue Wizards, right? It's one of the Blue Wizards, the Astari or something. And... Um, I think that's the right name. I think the Astari were the the um, were the wizards, um, and so one of the blue wizards could be the J Jace is one of the base is the planeswalker. You have a plane a blue planeswalker, and then the the uh, the you have the full art version of Jace. Then you have the alternate art where Jace's name, I mean whatever the name of the uh, blue Astari is, his name is up top, something comma uh, blue the blue the blue wizard right. Or it's just called the Blue Wizard. <clears throat> it, the name is just the Blue Wizard because maybe we don't know the names of the Blue Wizards. I can't remember. And then you have your mana cost, and then underneath of that, like they did with the um, King Kong, like King Kong and Godzilla and all those cards. Underneath of that, you have the sub theme, subtitle of the name of the original card, and then you have the alternate art on there, right? Then you have the alternate art alt on, alternate art on there. So that makes it so it's not actually, but with black border, just like just like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You are actually taking, like they're gonna do this. Like I said, with Barbie, My Little Pony, everything that they can fucking think of, they're gonna be. I that love that cartoon of someone's like, I'm gonna attach my equipment to. Um, there's that, I can't remember that, but that cartoon that, that's, uh, I'm going to attach my equipment to, um, Tony Stark, you know, I'm going to attach his armor to Tony Stark, and then I'm going to attack you with my 1515 Godzilla, and, and he's like, like, what game are you playing, guys? Oh, Magic the Gathering, and they're looking at him like, what? Like, yes, it's not, it's not. It's not. And like I said, alternate art is fine. People love art. I got into Magic the Gathering for the art because I love the art. It was cool. This 90s eight or this 80s style art and stuff was uh, is amazing. The hot chicks, the cool creatures, um, the, you know, the elves, the, the slivers. I love this. The, the original slivers were amazing. And I was like, what the fuck are these things? There's so many cool things and people and I loved people that would change. Like I, people used to draw Pokemon all like there was a lady that I found that had Pokemon all over. She would doodle in Pokemon all over her thing. She'd paint them in. And I didn't have a problem with that at all. And I think a lot of people don't have like you can do what you want with your cards. But then imagine Pokemon like a Pokemon now officially being in Lord. And, and I mean, being in something like Lord of the Rings or being in something like Magic the Gathering, like. No, I want Pokemon to stay in Pokemon, and I want Magic the Gathering to stay in Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering isn't meant to absorb 
all these other franchises. Especially in Black Border. Maybe you could get away with something in Silver Border. That's why I really didn't complain about the My Little Pony. But it, it just like just like a lot of the Republicans are right with the slippery slope ar- object uh, argument. I know someone's going to be pissed off about me with that. But I'm not going to get into it. This was a slippery slope thing. They started off with this. They saw how well it was selling or something. Or they maybe there were plans for it ahead of time already. But they kind of tested the waters with this, and then they turned, and then they did the same thing. They went from what? Then they did the stupid damn cards with the, uh, with the 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 Walking Dead in Black Border, and then they made a functional, a quote unquote functional reprint. Right? Well, why don't you just do that from the beginning? Just make it a functional re, just make a functional fucking card in in Magic the Gathering. And, and then just do what you did with Godzilla and make it an alternate art version. But, no. Technically, it's in Black Border. Fucking that guy, I don't know, Rick Grimes, I think his name is, right? I don't watch The Walking Dead. Is in Magic the Gathering. He's in Black Border. Earth, Earth is now a plains in Magic the Gathering. It's in Black Border. Black Border means it's in the universe. That's why Silver Border existed. That's why everyone's pissed off. The newest un, uh, unhinged set should have been a, the the latest unset should have been an unset. It wasn't an unset. Instead, it, they made it instead of Silver Border, they made it uh, a black border and did this fucking stupid thing with stickers and shit. They, they just keep doing dumb stuff, and now on top of that. They made it all political and they made it all ideological by changing characters that are that are d- designed specifically with an idea in mind, right? They are it's a mythology for England, and that would make them basically white people. Like I said, if I went to Africa and started changing all the mytho- mythological and story people and started making stuff for it and said, "Oh no, they're all white. They're all white people," like they are bringing stuff to here and changing uh, old writings, like all of a sudden you start turning all. I mean, they're doing this in England already. I'm like, J- let's just go ahead and turn all the characters in fucking um, like Macbeth and all of them. They're just all black. Everybody in England was just fucking black. They were all just fucking black from the beginning. Now, what if I just went ahead and did that in all the historical stuff and all the myth- mythological stuff in Africa? Let's just say I did that. Let's just say I went to Africa and said, all you, all you people need to make all your stuff white or Asian. You, you got to turn them all Asian. All of them got to be Asian. I'm not even saying white. Like, you guys, like t- t- tons of people that do this hate white people. No, you, you, all the black people have to turn all their stuff wh- Asian. You got to replace everybody with Asian. Not enough Asians here in a- Africa. Or the same thing. Got to go to go to got to go to Asia, China. Got to go to Japan. Say, oh, you got to replace them all with uh, black people. Not enough South Americans here. It's ridiculous. It, it's fucking ridiculous, and it's just a whole bunch of garbage. I just ranted through this whole video. I'm sorry about this. If you didn't like it, it, it I would appreciate good arguments in the comments. I, I I mean, I know I'm not a big YouTuber, but I would appreciate some good arguments uh, in the comments and stuff. Um, if if you think there was a, another way, like I said, I think there's a there was a reasonable way, not the race changing bullshit, but I think there was a reasonable way for Wizards to get more money or to get what they wanted out of uh, getting alternate art on the cards without bringing Lord of the Rings into the universe um, and everything else that I don't have a problem with. Like, uh, certain themes I wouldn't be interested in. Like, 40K I think is cool, but I wouldn't be interested in, like, Transformer cards or I wouldn't be interested in Barbie doll or a lot of the Marvel stuff. I would just want the original base cards because I like that art better. I like that stuff better. But there would at least not be... either. Like uh, Tony Stark and his his Marvel outfits or something would not be in wouldn't be in flying around somewhere in you know Zendikar wouldn't be a possibility of him flying around in Zendikar or something. Um, but I think there's a reasonable way here. Um, the other thing too, so if there is another way you think I think people could do it logically or interestingly, I think they could do that. Uh, I mean I, I would be interested to hear out discussions. Um, 
I don't. I, maybe, maybe if if there's if you want to be if you want to be respectful, I'd like to hear some arguments. Maybe before the um, uh, the race change stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna straight up disagree with the the fact that it's like, uh, you know, uh, you need to see black people need to see themselves in 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 Lord of the Rings and all that. Lord of the Rings has been one of the most next to the Bible. I think it's one of the most sold books around the world. So that's bullshit. Asian people, black people, white people, every skin tone and skin color. It has sold billions of copies. Uh, if I'm not if I'm not incorrect, it sold like. Like I said, next to the Bible and the Quran, some of the religious texts, it is it is like one of the most published books around the world. Um, people see themselves in there all the time, and you don't need to see your race. It before all of some of the most recent race bullshit, people used to see themselves in characters. I see myself in characters all the time that aren't my race, that aren't my age, that aren't like that. I don't fit categories. Like I I see myself in 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 characters that have barely any relation to me relationship to me at all. But we, we have a few things that align very, that are kind of core. So I, I think we'll just have to disagree on the base on that. Um, if they wanted to not call it Lord of the Rings and do something else, like they did that with Harry, the Harry Potter set. They did a, a good job, I think, with the Harry Potter set where they did something very Harry Potter-esque, but without making it Harry Potter so they could do whatever they want with it. I don't know why they technically had to do Lord of the Ring, like actually take Lord of the Ring. Just don't take something that is set, that has set rules, set things, and then fuck with it. Don't do that. Just because you can. That's like taking the Mona Lisa, and trust me, the Lord of the, Lord of the Rings is like a fucking Mona Lisa for books. Like the, the, the lore, the worlds, the, the themes, the books. It is like a Mona Lisa on the written word. Um, you don't fuck with it and think you can do better. You don't take it. I'm just saying that people might not like the Mona Lisa, uh, but it, it's a famous painting. A lot of it's like considered like historically it's very significant. You don't fucking take it and you don't start drawing a mustache on it or trying to make her smile more. You just don't. You, you're, con- you're considered conceited and a piece of shit. <laughs> um, I won't I won't get angry with you, but. Try like if you got some good arguments or some interesting ideas, I'm totally fine. I don't care if you're LGBT. I don't care if you're a different race. I don't care if you're leftist or SJW. I don't care what your ideology is. If you got some, just don't scream at me in the arguments. If you do, I'm, I'm that's fine. I'm not gonna delete your comments. But I would like to. I would like to see some actual argumentation. Um, if there's some way we could do it, but if it's just basic, people need to see themselves or whatever, I'm just going to fundamentally disagree with you and like the conversation ain't going to go anywhere. But if there's some interesting arguments, like I said, I thought maybe they could do what they did with the Godzilla stuff and they could still get, you know, they could get both, get both ways. Um, uh, uh, the other thing too, the other thing that they could do too, I think maybe for the race change thing, the best thing they could do is they could have the artist do... The only thing they could do is have an actual copy of the card and then alternate arts of the card. So they got a white version, an Asian version, a black version. They could maybe get away with that and be like, this is just an artist's rendition. You know, we're not trying to change the thing. Like, we're not trying to change the person. But this is just an artist's rendition kind of thing so maybe you could get away with it i could kind of see that because i'm an artist myself like i do a lot of drawings and stuff uh you know uh uh i like graphic like pencil and paper so maybe if the artist like like i said like maybe but they changed so many white characters just black so maybe like i said maybe if they had several different versions of the card and there was like um like I said, you could get a, a person like Aragorn, kind of like what he looks like in the movie, or what like I think we would think uh, a more typical look of what his description in the book is. And then you have a, 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 a black person's, and then an Asian person's. I still think people could get upset with it, but I I think they would say we just had different artists take different perspectives, and we wanted a we wanted it to flesh out, and we have. We have something for kind of everybody. We wanted this. We wanted it to kind of make it for everybody. We kind of got something for everybody. So this isn't meant to be. This isn't actually Aragorn. This is just a, a rendition of Aragorn for people. So um, like, but this is just an artist's rendition of Aragorn. Um, 
But unfortunately, like I said, they did it for everybody. So I think it's very specific. It's very intended uh, to bring race baiting stuff out and trying to get the races to fight each other and cause issues. Um, if anything, it's going to cause, I think, people to buy it less than more. Uh, I know they always say news is good. All news is good news. I think that's bullshit. Um, if people are talking, just because people are talking about it doesn't mean it's good. Um, it's definitely, like I said, I've, I've bought far less, uh, magic recently. Um, I talked about this on one of my, I kind of spewed on one my Harry Potter, last Harry Potter stream. So, um, yeah, I, anyways. So yeah, if you got something in the comments, go ahead. Um, if you want to just scream at me, I'm not going to delete your comments either. Um, but I kind of. I'll appreciate good argu like arguments and talking and stuff. Also, if you like, just want to talk about wizards in general because um, I have no idea what their mind their minds at. Uh, I know it's about money and everything, but they are just I don't know why. Since they have the rights, why not just make card games using the magic rules for all these card games? I would play a Lord of the Rings, specifically like a forty k game and a Lord of the Rings game. Like if you just use magic rules, but because. Magic comes with tons of stuff, like a whole bunch of stuff packed with it already. I would play a Lord of the Rings game without all the cards previously and all the mechanics and everything. I would like a new Lord of the Rings game that's kind of fresh. Why not make a card game kind of like that? Um, just using the Lord of the Rings mechanics and sub rules. Um, and like maybe change things up a little bit. Just, a li just a, like twinge it a little bit so it, it, it fits Lord of the Rings more. Or it fits, um, you know, 40k more. Um, you can still do, like I said, the alternate art stuff to kind of go into Magic the Gathering. But you could really just make a card game and sell it with Magic, like sell it in, like next to Magic the Gathering. Ah, uh, the new, you know, Magic the Gathering like a 40k game. I I think people would actually buy that. But they're but they're not, you know, like I, I they could do that. I think Lord of the Rings or uh, Dungeons and Dragons cards or a 40k game especially card game like i don't think i could afford 40k all the all the armies and everything especially um like i like there are some people just aren't into doing the art and the armies and stuff so maybe like some people would like to do 40k like a card game i don't know if there's something like that out there already so i think it, it they just don't have i don't think they have enough diversity of thought and ideas idea people like literally like they are just all of one mind kind of in the in in the ideology department and because of that um they're they're not thinking outside the box they're not thinking up new ideas they're just they're thinking yeah they're not thinking really outside the box or any new ideas or anything and it just it it's become too political you know too I ideological over there so um if you guys want to talk about that down in below um, doesn't matter what side you're on. I, I ask that you at least be polite. No, uh, if you want to yell at me, that's fine. Don't yell at each other. So I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good one. I know this one's kind of all over the place, uh, but we got some good wins in. I see this uh, midweek magic here. This one was this one midweek magic, uh, phantom sealed. Um, this week, uh, this event is phantom cards. You draft or not added to your? Oh, it's a draft. Oh, uh, we will play this next. Uh, we will do this. So I will see you guys later. Uh, yeah. Bye-bye.